Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm here with my eight-year-old, and today we are going to be drawing... A squirrel. Yeah. We're... Are you a squirrel? <laughs> Is that your squirrel face? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So we're going to continue doing it in the style that we've done our other woodland creatures. We're going to draw the squirrel first, so if you don't want to color it with us, that's okay. It's fun to just learn how to draw a squirrel. It's a cute squirrel. So we're going to get started with pencil, and then we will color it later. One other thing, I'm going to be drawing darker so that you can see it on the camera, but it's always a good idea when you're drawing with pencil to just sketch it in lightly first and then you can go over it later and darken it up. We're going to draw, an, this is the front of the squirrel's face. So we're going to draw an angle this way and then just like a curved line for the front of the squirrel's face where his cute little nose is. Flower. We can. So it might be a girl squirrel, huh? And then it angles back here. And then this is the little mouth. And then it goes up a little bit and then back down. And we've got some tufts of fur. Okay, and now we're going to draw an ear. So their ears go up and point and there's little tufts of hair at the top and then it comes back down. So it kind of makes a triangle shape. And then we're going to draw one more ear behind the head in the same shape, but it gets hidden behind that ear. How's, how's yours coming? Okay, and then inside the ear, we're just gonna draw some more tufts, like that. Okay, so the eye, you wanna make kind of an oval first, and then we're making little points out from it. So like how I, our eyes are. Yeah, to make it more of an almond shape. <laughs> and then you can leave a highlight. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little nose. Didn't really finish it earlier. And then we're gonna do just kind of like a light line right here because this is where another tuft of fur is. And then there's also a little line around the eye. And you can turn your squirrel's mouth into a smile. Okay, are you ready to move on? Or do you want to draw the little mm -hmm. lines for the tufts of hair? All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the back of the head is up here. Make sure you're kind of thinking about where it comes out. And down. And you don't want it to go down too far. So you come down and then back up. So now we're making like the back part of the squirrel. And we want it to be nice and rounded. And then the knee is actually going to come a little further forward. This one? Yeah. And then you go over. And then you start going up. I think, I think you need to make that leg wider. a little wider. Okay. 
and drag it up and down. Perfect, right there. Okay, is that how you want it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the hand. So we're gonna make an angle like this. I mean, my three-year-old saw me drawing and she said, it looks like he's diving in the water. And it totally does. But we're going to draw an and, acorn. Yeah. And she said no to, like, drawing a... Um, an acorn. No to drawing an acorn. So you draw the hand like a kind of a rectangle. Squirrels can swim, but they don't want... They don't like to. Really? Okay, so yeah, you make a little rectangle and then little... Claws. Little claws or pads or whatever in there. Toes and, that mm -hmm. separate our toes. And then it gets nice and skinny right here. And then you have like this little arm and it leads down to an elbow. And then it goes straight back. Okay. Hmm. And then right behind the elbow, you're gonna make a curved line that follows that same curve over there. And then we're gonna draw a little bit. The other leg. Hmm. And now we're gonna draw the acorn. So she's hugging the acorn. So we're gonna draw holding the acorn. A rectangle. Sort of rectangle right there. Oh, you're not caught up. Now you draw a rectangle back there, but you kind of want the top line to be a little bit curvy. You're gonna draw the top of the acorn. And then the bottom of the acorn are two curved lines that come together. It's like a pizza. <laughs> well, you want to curve it more then. Don't make it a triangle, I make it a curved line. That. And then inside of the acorn, you're going to make diagonal lines going this way on the top part, and then diagonal lines going that way in the top part. Okay, are we ready to do the tail? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the tail, you come out by the top, you make a curve, and they have big tails. So. Mine might have to go. Oh no, yours has to get cut off. You could just have it curving like mine. Oops, I almost went off the page myself. See how big the <laughs> And then from down here, look, you come out and then you curve it up, over, and then you make this S shape. Okay, so now the feet. So you come out and then down. So to your left and then down and then back up. And you just make little toe pads. <clears throat> We're almost done. We've got to make this toe pad and foot. Okay, so now you can color your squirrel. Um, We're using watercolor pencils. Mm -hmm. Here are a few like brown ones. And, and so what you'll wanna do, like with this chestnut color, Go around the edges and then just lightly taper it off. So you want like kind of an outline. And just like just that that's a light brown. So this lighter brown would be cute for the outline around this part of the face because it's a lighter color and around its eye is gonna be lighter. But then the rest of the face will be darker and so we'll just fast forward through this part
Okay, so just to explain what we've been doing, we've been going over it with like a dark brown. This one's called chestnut, it's a dark brown. And then we've also been filling in with the lighter brown, some of the areas that we want to have it look like it's a lighter color fur, or even like a highlight. And then for the eyes and the nose, we made sure to leave it with a regular colored pencil instead of a watercolor pencil because we don't want it to run. To show what you can do with a watercolor brush, I mean watercolor pencils, you can take a wet brush and you can... Or a um, watercolor brush. Mm -hmm. Like you fill up the tube thing in water. Mm -hmm. And then you just spread it. Um, can I have the other one? Mm -hmm. So depending on how dark you want your squirrel to be, if you had very much color on there, more would spread. So this is going to be a lighter squirrel. But if you want it to be darker, then you should color in more. Definitely a red squirrel. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna draw a little flower here. And then get the brush a little wetter. As it goes out. And we can also do a little flower up here. Just since squirrels are tiny, I need it to be tiny too. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just little dots. So once we have a mine is like white face for a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Once we have some flowers, then we can do some other things. Okay, right, so you can make little sprigs coming out or turn them into actual leaves by making kind of a diamond shape. What about the violet sprigs? Yeah, we can do those too. I like this color pink. Mm -hmm. can kind of soften these leaves up with your watercolor brush mm. and maybe touch in so a bit of lighter spell. green. You can even do dots of green. That's kind of cute. Okay, and then you can also do sprigs of a different color. And violet. Yeah. Or like a purpley brown.
Did you have so much fun drawing that squirrel? Mm -hmm. You're just so cute. We hope you had so much fun drawing the woodland squirrel with us. And we'd love to see how yours turned out. Feel free to tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram so I can see how yours turned out. We had so much fun drawing. Whether yours turned into a cute woodland one like ours or whether you just did a squirrel, we would love to see it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our future videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.